Hi, happy Saturday. It's Princess Brittany. Um, and thank you for checking out my Soulversation Lifestyle page as well as this video. So I don't know um, if whoever is watching this video has kind of had the opportunity to look at my other videos. But if you have, then you would know that I have been really just taking a lot of time out to focus on my priorities, which is my family, um, self-care, self-love, and healing from traumatic experiences such as the death of, you know, a few people that I love. Um, one of them that I, you know, never really can say goodbye to, uh, in the words of Michael Jackson, um, an incredible person, and his birthday was yesterday, um, so happy birthday, OJ, it is, um, today is October 25th, I almost forgot what today was, and I realized that I think in the process of everybody who's close to him, who loves him, we are struggling with having a voice to tell his story. And I think that I'm holding back tears right now. Okay, y'all, let me, before I even go into like, you know, the point of this video, um, uh, when I say this, is, this is my ex-boyfriend, it's not somebody that we didn't like really break up on bad terms. We kind of broke up to kind of keep the peace in the midst of the chaos of the war and the streets that, you know, from our city, even though we didn't grow up in the hood, you know, some things kind of changed where we were from because um, of, you know, the fact that there were drug wars going on around us that we had nothing to do with just being literally wholesome, innocent people at the time caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time. And so we had to break up. And with that being said, this is somebody that I knew for, I guess you could say almost 20 years now that I think about it, 20 years, grew up with as a child. It was like a father figure to me more than my own father in the aspect of, teaching me right from wrong. You know, I would say 75% of who I am and my character is because of him and the things that he taught me, you know, the values. And so I, I thank his parents for giving him that structure and that foundation because that's where it comes from, you know? And so, um, that is still within me. And I really am just now only getting to the point in my life where I can really be that person that I always wanted to be, you know, that I couldn't be when I didn't have control of my life when I was younger. So this is somebody that I was in a relationship, like I said, for 20 years, and we only had one argument. And, and uh, you know, we, we started out in a relationship and then became friends afterwards and so just imagine knowing somebody that long and getting along so well with them and then they're gone you know so I didn't I need to honor him I feel morally obligated to honor him and there is that energy of unfinished business lingering through his spirit and so that's what this video is about and I've decided that I need to do my uh my I'm going to do a series and it's a it's sort of a, a healing thing for me to deal with the grief of his loss and also to tell not only his story but our story um because I felt for a long time silenced by fear. And 
I still feel a portion of my truth being silenced, but I am in a position where I can share some things and I'd rather share, even if it's only a little bit, rather than nothing at all. I don't want to just go on throughout my life like I'm okay. I'm not. I'm not okay. So, I am going to start a video series. Um, and it's going to be called... Uh, you know, the story of OJ. Um, and so, like, each video will have, like, its own different, um, sorry. <laughs> eh. Each video will have, like, its own different topic, own different story. We have so many stories. We were just two people in this huge dynamic of friendships and we had a very busy love life that included a, a lot of people not in the aspect of like that included a lot of people like in our bedroom or in our intimate you know environment or, or dating or whatever but that included a lot of friends we had oh gosh got this too tight we had a lot of um we had a lot of friends and and when I say friends like these were our really close close friends you know it wasn't just we had a very big social network um a global social network so you know um and and at the same time God blessed us with the uh spirit to stay humble one thing about OJ and I we enjoy being in the background that's always even though we were always in the spotlight growing up I think we found the most peace with just kind of falling back sometimes and just like being chilled and kind of just like just enjoying the moment like that in a way where we're not always the center of attention because sometimes we would attract unwanted attention and that was like Oh, it was drama. You couldn't imagine the fights that I had to get into over this man. And I have no regrets because he was totally worth fighting for. But I am going to start a series. And it's called The Story of OJ. Um, I think that I don't, I haven't decided what I'm going to do the first video. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe today. It kind of just depends on how I feel, where I want to start. Um, you know, and, and these are true stories. We've got all sorts of people from where we're from that can hopefully watch these videos and, you know, take the trip down memory lane and add their two cents to the story. I think ultimately what I want to do with these videos is maybe turn it into a film project one day. I really do want to find a way to honor him and really just keep his memory his legacy his dreams alive and to finish what he started that is really my mission and much respect to his ex-fiance i can only imagine what he was going through because i actually haven't seen him or or heard from him in years it's been a long time I think the last time I saw or heard from him was in Las Vegas for his birthday maybe it was his 20 I think it might have been his 24th birthday I think I don't even think he was that old 23rd or the 24th birthday Las Vegas um, that was the last time I saw him and we took a road trip. So that's the story I'll tell you about. But I haven't spoken to him since his cousin Kelvin died. And that was after the trip. Um, and so, like I said, we never were really on bad terms. 
it was just things changed where we were from. It went from being a wholesome neighborhood to just being like taken over by people that resented us. So I want to tell our story. And um, it's called a video, it's a video series called The Story, the story of OJ. And so, like I said, um, maybe I'll just start with his birthday trip story. Pick up where we left off and then work my way back. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I hope you check it out and, um, you know, show some love for Mr. Jackson. Um, because he really is, you know, was an incredible person. Um, and I think he deserves that kind of respect and, and I think it will help everybody to, uh, everybody who's involved and, and who knew him and loved him because, because I don't care if you hated him, people probably hated him because they couldn't be him, but to know him was to love him. He was very, very, uh, incredible. There's so many reasons why. So, um, just his energy alone, <laughs> much less his talents and, and character, um, so many reasons why. So, yeah, I hope you check it out. The story of OJ is um, going to be uploaded soon, starting with um, the last time I saw him, which was his birthday celebration Probably, like I said, 23rd or 24th birthday. So, all right. We love you, OJ. Peace.